welcome back to my channel. On November 12th, Disney is going to have its first Disney Plus Day to celebrate the second anniversary of the service. On this day, Disney is going to release a ton of new content and in this video I'm going to tell you exactly what's coming. First up, recent movies Shang-Chi and Jungle Cruise will be available to all Disney Plus subscribers for no extra charge. I am personally very excited about Shang-Chi because I haven't had the opportunity to see it in theatres and I've heard nothing but good things. Secondly, Disney will premiere the movie Home Sweet Home Alone, which is a reimagining of the classic film Home Alone. It will star Archie Yates from Jojo Rabbit as the lead, along with Ellie Kemper and Rob Delaney. To be honest though, it's going to be really hard to beat the original. Thirdly, Disney Animation will release a series of shorts called Olaf Presents, which will feature Frozen's beloved snowman retelling several classic Disney tales, just like how he recapped Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. I am really hoping we see him recap The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Tangled. Fourthly, Disney Animation will debut several of their shorts, including Frozen Fever, Feast, Paper Man, and Get a Horse. Fifthly, Pixar will release an animated short film featuring the characters from Luca called Chow Alberto. I presume that this short will make Alberto the main character instead of Luca. However, I personally didn't really like Luca. I found it a bit boring, so I won't be watching this short. Sixthly, there will be a new short from The Simpsons that plays tribute to Disney Plus's marquee brands. I presume it will send up series such as The Mandalorian, WandaVision, and Loki. Seventhly, the first five episodes from season two of The World According to Jeff Goldblum from National Geographic will drop, but it hasn't been revealed yet when the last five episodes will be released. Eighthly, there will be a special celebrating the origins and legacy of Star Wars legendary bounty hunter Boba Fett. The Book of Boba Fett is the next Star Wars series that is supposed to be coming out this Christmas, so I presume we will get a look during this special. Ninthly, there will be a special celebrating the Marvel Cinematic Universe on Disney Plus with an exciting look towards the future. I am presuming that we will at least get a look at Ms. Marvel, which is supposed to debut in early 2022. And finally, Dope Sick, an original series starring Michael Keaton, will be released in international markets as part of Star. Even though all of this is incredibly exciting, what I am next going to tell you is going to top it all. Subscribers to the service will be entertained with an inaugural Disney Plus Day fan celebration on Disney Plus, which will include breaking news, first looks, new trailers, exclusive clips, and appearances from Disney Plus creators and stars. I am really hoping that during this celebration we will receive first looks or trailers from Disenchanted, Peter Pan, Pinocchio, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and She-Hulk. Another exciting thing that will be happening on this day is that Disney Plus will be launched in South Korea, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. Obviously, Disney decided to release Shang-Chi for free on this day because of its launch into these Asian markets. And finally, in honor of the second anniversary of Disney Plus, subscribers will have access to promotions and experiences across the company. Disney parks and resorts around the world and Disney Cruise Line will roll out the blue carpet for Disney Plus fans with some surprise and delight moments, including photo opportunities, character moments, and more. But obviously, because I am stuck in Australia, I can't join in on the fun. However, ShopDisney.com will have special offers, which is definitely something I will be participating in. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.